Hello, my name is Karina and this is my perfume map. Today I want to talk about Baccarat Rouge 540 and all of the fragrances I have in my collection that I think have either been compared to it or called the dupe or things that I notice um, they have things in common with Baccarat Rouge. How I feel about them as a dupe um, and, and just kind of a general discussion. So obviously, um, I'm going to take the cap off of this because I don't want to see my reflection in it later. <laughs> okay, Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. This probably is the most well-known like luxury fragrance of the last 10 years, I would say. I'm not even sure exactly when this came out. I know that I started hearing about it maybe around 2019. And it's the first fragrance that I ever bought a sample of, um, like off the internet and got it in the mail. I just kept hearing over and over. It just seemed like this one set the standard for what is like, what is considered to be a luxurious fragrance that makes you smell absolutely amazing. And it seemed like everybody was describing it differently, like airy, sugar, all kinds of things. When I got my sample, when I got my sample, I was kind of like, oh, this sort of reminds me of like a candle I once had. And I can't remember the name of the candle. It was a candle I bought more than once and I bought it while I was living in Chicago at a boutique. I wish I could remember what it was called, but it just kind of had that amber, that sweet sugary amber smell. So at first I was like, really? Everybody's crazy about this? Like, I know this scent profile. But I wore it on a vacation and I wore like two sprays a day. And I bought, whoops, I bought a sample that looked like this. This is the Oud Satin Mood one, right? But it's a two mil and they come completely full. If you want to try any Maison Francis Kirk John, I would order directly from the company you get four two mil samples for 25 bucks and that comes with a $25 off coupon good the next year. And you might think like, I don't wanna spend $25 on, you know, eight mils of fragrance. I think it's a good deal because you get to try the real deal. They ship it out really quickly. Like I said, it comes with a coupon and you'll know exactly what this really smells like because there's so many dupes out there and so many people are telling you this is an exact dupe. This is an exact dupe. Well, I think you should try for yourself. Anyway, I wore this fragrance and what I noticed about it right away is that it reminded me more of a, um, like a feeling, like a, uh, like a lifestyle than it did a fragrance once I was wearing it out in the wild. And I'll tell you what I think of this fragrance. I think the Baccarat Rouge 540 smells like a very fine dining experience. And I have a, a like a perfect picture in my mind of this restaurant. This restaurant has kind of a rustic look. There's a lot of like exposed beam work. There's a lot of farm to table food going on. There's like a very impressive wine list where like people who love wines, especially, especially like red wines, they know that they love a certain vintage year of Cabernet from a certain region, this restaurant has you covered. This restaurant's food style is simple, but it's like the best of the best. Like if there's radishes on your plate, they were picked that morning. If there is bread that came either from the restaurant, they have an in-house artisan baker, or there's like a really good artisan bakery really close by and they get that bread daily. Um, they serve creme brulee, they brulee right in the back. It's got like the crispy blowtorch top. There's like a wood fire oven in the place. There might be a garden space there. Um, this is where wealthy people eat to get sort of simple food, farm to table, but you just can't replicate it even at home because you're not gonna have access to like the finest locally grown radishes, carrots, peas, as much as this restaurant tour is. That's what this smells like to me. It's that kind of luxury. It's not clubbing. It's not um, 
Louis Vuitton handbags. It's a rustic, best of the best simplicity. That's what this smells like to me. And the other thing I'll say about this fragrance is I think it's very, very long lasting and you only need one or two sprays. D do people wear a lot more than that? Yes. But I think there's a big difference between a wall of Baccarat Rouge 540 and like noticing it in the air, kind of in and out, almost that in and out elusiveness, maybe a certain kind of nose blindness only adds to this fragrance because you'll be like, what smells so good? What is that? This isn't the kind of fragrance that you're definitely going to say that's somebody's perfume unless they like bathe themselves in it. And some people do, but I think more, more likely people are bathing themselves in one of these other fragrances or something like it. So I sprayed some on paper here. And yeah, it's like a very sweet jasmine amber with a very particular woody note that smells like real wood that has that is burning but it's not like a like a harsh burning smell. It's like maybe it burned and now there is like a leftover charred smell. But it's not it's not like going up your nose. It's not making you want to move away from the fire. It's a very cozy burnt wood smell. Now in their little booklet, they describe it like this. Luminous and sophisticated. Baccarat Rouge 540 lays on the skin like an amber floral and woody breeze. The aerial notes of jasmine and the radiance of saffron carry mineral facets of ambergris and cedarwood, a graphic and highly condensed signature. It's mostly a jasmine fragrance. People don't say that, but that is what it is. There is that saffron note, but that saffron just adds like a very earthiness to it. Some people will pick up on that right away, maybe because they weren't expecting it, and they'll say, this smells like band-aids, this smells like the dentist. Um... I think that that is that comes from being kind of shocked by a fragrance you haven't smelled before, or if you were expecting to pick it up and smell burnt cotton candy, which I've heard people describe it like, and I would say there's no way this is there's nothing about this fragrance that smells like going to the local um, carnival, like not at all. That's a whole different fragrance. That's a vape pen. That's Aqualina Pink Sugar, but it's not this. Okay, so the one that my story is I bought the sample and I just could not bite the bullet. I could not buy the smaller bottle that was like $300. So I started looking for dupes. And the first one that I picked up was Cloud by Ariana Grande because there was like fragrance reviewers basically saying that this is like so close to it that it's crazy. It's almost exactly the same and it's so much cheaper. And get this. So I bought this and I still had my little sample, just a little bit left. And I was instantly disappointed because while I a hundred percent see what they're saying, this is a way younger, this is not like a rustic restaurant. This is like a young girl eating dessert. This is an airy, fun, whipped cream like day out. This is not like red wine and rustic eating and success and I mean slightly middle-aged. That is not what this is. This smells way more similar to me to Love's Baby Soft. I've said this before. There's a lavender, there's whipped cream. None of those are in Baccarat Rouge 540. But I'm going to say something about dupes. Whether or not a fragrance smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge 540 only matters to the wearer. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure that I could walk by somebody in a crowd and they're wearing cloud and I might kind of go, was that BR 540? I might. Because in the air, people aren't going to be able to tell you for sure that is or that isn't. What I feel about a dupe is that you shouldn't buy it if you're super duper familiar with the original. This is the second bottle that my husband and I have had of this fragrance. And you see, like, we're almost through it. So I feel like I'm an expert. And I don't think this smells like that at all. I would not suggest my husband wear this to work. He wears this to work almost every day. I would never say, oh, just wear cloud. 
And I feel like once you have the real deal, that you're gonna, you're just gonna know the difference. And the difference here is this is lavender and like whipped cream and it doesn't smell like Barker Rouge 540, but I could see where, where you might be getting that like light, sweet, luminous vibe. The next one that I've seen compared um, is Guest Seductive Red. This one to me is almost exactly Cloud by Ariana Grande, but with a cherry note. And by cherry note, oh, there's also almond in Ariana Grande and there's almond in here too. I don't, I've never smelled a fragrance that I actually think has cherry in it. What I think this has in it is like a bitter almond tonka and something very citric that's making you think cherry. It's mostly an almond fragrance. It's fluffy. It's sweet. This has a lot of pepper. Pepper, almond, cherry is really what I get. And I think there's other, I think there's some florals and vanilla. Um, I've almost used all of this, but that's because, that's not really because I wear this all the time. It's because my youngest child, like, kind of had a a few days where he was um spraying this like kind of excessively like he just really really liked it and he was going for it and I paid like $11 for this on Amazon this is a one ounce so do I think this smells like Baccarat Rouge no I think it smells just like cloud which people think smells like Baccarat Rouge and then it has like a really heavy kind of um vitamin c with almond in it it's nice the next one I want to show you is uh, Into the Stars. This is probably um, Bath and Body Works uh, well-known BR45, BR45, wow, Baccarat Rouge 540 um, comparison. This has amber and citrus, a lot of citrus. Yeah, it's Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugared Changello, that's the citrus, White Agarwood, and radiant amber. So there's like an amber, a wood, a citrus, and some sandalwood and some kind of florals. It does, it does have a Baccarat Rouge vibe. What I will say is like um, a lot of the dupes or things that people call dupes have a lot of citrus and I don't get any citrus in BR540. That's probably the biggest difference. This one has a it opens up really nice. It almost kind of smells aquatic with that citrus. Um, I kind of get what people are saying. It's definitely not a dupe, but there's some kind of amber, um, woody thing going on. What The problem with this one is there's something in the dry down, and it's like the combination of the citrus and musk that I don't like. There's like a final lingering of citrus and musk that I find really unappealing, but the opening is great. Now we're gonna get into ones that maybe I compared to Baccarat Rouge 540, but I don't hear them compared so much. And the first one is Lease Bow. This is, was from Scentbird. Um, Lease is the name of the perfume company and Bow is the name of the fragrance. So this one is like pine and incense and amber and I think that this is their, um, I think that this is their BR540 attempt or yeah, that's, although it smells absolutely terrible to me. When I first got this, I liked it, but the more I smell it, it smells like wood glue to me. There's a very sour note in this under the pine that just smells like wood glue. If you have somebody doing any woodworking in your house or in your life and you smell that wood glue smell that's what this smells like um this is probably the fragrance that got me to really um think long and hard about like uh, a glowing endorsement from another youtuber and you should take my glowing endorsements with a grain of salt too because i'm me not you but this one this like stinks to me it smells like wood glue it also smells like the, if they would have had jasmine in this, then it would have been like an obvious Baccarat um, clone. And I think like, I just am imagining in my mind that they had jasmine in there and they were like, oh no, we can't do that. Took it out and they're like, yeah, it's still good. It's kind of earthy. And I know people like this. It does not smell good to me at all. It smells like glue in a pine forest. I'm not getting incense. I'm just getting like um, a lot of wood 
and not, and in a very sour, sour way. I think Baccarat Rouge can have a sort of a sour note too, kind of a metallic sour thing going on. And again, I think that's, if you've ever just sniffed saffron in a jar, you might get some of that. The next one I have is, this is a dupe. So this is a dupe of a dupe of a dupe. This is another 13. I bought this from this company, what are they called? Parf... I think it's Parfumolio. It's kind of smeared, but I think that's what it is. Um, I would not buy from this company only because I've had like two serious leakers and I just think that these bottles are too cheap. So another 13 is another year skin that, but better. A lot of people compare it to like a doctor's office. There is like a sharp medicinal smell, at least in this one. And again, I think it's kind of, if you called Bacart Rears a dentist office, you could call this one a doctor's office. You know what's funny is I'm going anosmic to all this. So I could see comparing the two and not being able to tell the difference because you can't smell either one of them. I need like some coffee beans. So I would like to smell another 13. A lot of people like it. Do I think it's a dupe of Baccarat Rouge? I mean, I get I get kind of the same feeling from this. It's kind of the same thing where it's like, you wouldn't think that this is necessarily somebody's perfume. You would just think that they smelled like really good. Like there's something in their DNA that makes them smell better than other humans. That's kind of what kind of perfume this is. And that's definitely something Baccarat Rouge has going on. The next one I have is Tribeca. And this I think came from that same company. They sent a little, um, sample. This is um, like a Bond number nine dupe. And this one smells like um, absolutely a Baccarat Rouge take. I don't know which one came out first, but this smells really, really similar. This is like an oil perfume though. There's no... Maybe there's no cedar. Maybe there's no pine. There's something missing. No jasmine. Probably no jasmine. Jasmine is a huge part of Baccarat Rouge 540. And the last one I have is Camera, which nobody has ever compared to Baccarat Rouge except for me. And what I smell, there's so much cinnamon in it, but behind that is a very similar sweet fragrance. And while I don't think this was ever meant to be a dupe of Baccarat Rouge 540, a lot of people will say Angel Share. I have smelled Angel Share. I can see they're both very cinnamony and sweet. But I think that Angel Share customer and the Baccarat Rouge 540 customer, they might be the same person. So while I don't think Angel Share is a dupe of BR540, I think they were going after the same customer, somebody who wants to smell like this sweet seductive, um, high quality in a restaurant type of person, a person who goes out to eat. That's what I think that these are. These are people who go to nice restaurants. I think that's what, I think that's the person who's buying Baccarat Rouge 540, like who really, really loves it. Not the person who's just like, I need to have the most expensive thing and be cool. It really, really appeals to the, the fine dining <laughs> patron. One, because you're not going to, if you wear like an appropriate amount of, of BR540 and go to a restaurant, you're not going to upset anybody. You're just going to like smell really good. I think that Angel Share is going for that person, but maybe somebody who's like a little more literal, who's like, I really want to be the dessert. Like I want to smell so good. Um, like I've said before, I think Camera smells good, but I also think it has like a trashy vibe. Not that would stop me from wearing it, but like if I wanted to smell kind of trashy, I would wear this. I wouldn't wear this to a restaurant. In fact, when I go out to eat, I wear little to no fragrance because I think it's, um, I think it takes away from the restaurant experience because smelling is a form of tasting. It is, it sounds like a weird thing to say, but it's true. So anyway, here are all my thoughts on 
Baccarat Rouge summed up probably not very eloquently. But the main thing I want to get across is one, just get a real sample from my Zon Francis Kirk Dijon. Like you can get Oud Satin Mood, Gentle Fluidity Gold, Baccarat Rouge 540, and maybe the x straight or one other one for $25 and they will get it to you. Like I got it, I think I got it the next day when I ordered it. So I don't know why I got it that quickly, but I did. The second thing is um, dupes only are going to smell wrong if you're an expert at the fragrance. So if you're wearing a dupe, don't feel bad. Don't feel like, oh, you've been duped because it's totally the wrong thing. It probably does smell really similar in the air. It's just for me, having gone through this much of this fragrance, I would not be able to wear a dupe. I just can't because I'd be, I, the whole time I would just be picking out what's wrong. And I know that's true because I did buy the Ambery Saffron from Dossier and it's one of the only fragrances I ever sold because I, it was, I found it very irritating, everything I could pick apart about it. When you spray that one in the air and you're not doing it side by side, you won't be able to tell the difference. I'm almost sure of it. But if you smell them side by side, the jasmine note is off. There's too much citrus in the ambery saffron. The ambery saffron has, a, instead of a earthy saffron note, it has sort of a weird ace hardware, rubber tire, and fertilizer note. It's like, it's kind of all jumbled up. It's like a big jumbled up version of BR540 that's like tricky and it's like a liar. I, that fragrance actually makes me angry, which is really stupid, but you know, this is like a passion project. So I would not buy that one. Um, if you love it, that's fine. And if people mistake it for Baccarat Rouge 540, I totally believe you. I would, I think in the wild, but not on my skin. The other thing I want to say is that Baccarat Rouge is incredibly expensive super expensive. We paid about $500 for this bottle and we got like a deal on sale. It was either Black Friday or New Year's Eve, something like that, like a year ago. And I don't know if we'll buy it again. You know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. <laughs> but this is the most expensive fragrance in my collection. It's the really the only super expensive fragrance in my collection. And I decided after sampling and after trying to get a dupe for it that I had to I had to have the real thing and I'm a fragrance fan and I think it's okay to have, you know, some luxury in my life. I think it's perfectly acceptable, especially, you know, if you do the math and you think like this is the amount of luxury I can afford and I'm going to go for it. So anyway, do you wear BR540? Do you wear the dupes? Have you ever compared the real deal to the dupes? Do you hate this fragrance? Leave it all in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.